Yo, what's up? My name is Caleb Pauls, and I'm going with Adventures and Missions to tell stories of South Sudanese refugees living in northern Uganda. Check it. Let's go. To be honest, I don't know why I'm here. This all started with an idea. An idea that happened in the shower. Your story is worth telling. And I have lots of ideas, but this is one of the first ideas that I decided to execute on. I was actually gonna try. So I picked up a camera and I started filming. Luckily, I went on this experience called the World Race that gave me lots and lots of material to work from. I learned a lot, I failed a lot, and I grew a whole ton. And it kind of set me on the path that I'm on today. So I'm sitting here in Uganda as part of a storytelling team. I'm a part of a eight member storytelling team with Adventures and Missions here in Uganda. Our goal is to, well, we're gonna live in, in a refugee camp and tell stories of South Sudanese refugees here in northern Uganda. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. This all started back in Gainesville. So Joe Barnes recruited seven people who had formerly done the world race, who picked up a camera on the race or before the race, basically people who found storytelling through the race. Welcome to training, here we are. This trip is actually happening. We're actually doing this thing. And right now we're setting up uh, photos. You gotta see the background there for our first photo shoots. There's Donovan. Donovan, like me, picked up a camera kind of for the first time on the race. There's Tiara Menavar. She's the creative genius in this group. Uh, Jesse. Jesse's got more formal experience than probably the rest of us. Then there's Haley. Haley has a background in marketing. Sam actually had a production company before all of this. And then there's Sue. Sue is the only nine on, in the group. On the Enneagram, that is. Oh, and then there's me, and y'all have watched my story. And now I'm here to tell this story. We really don't know what we're walking into. We tried to do a lot of pre-production stuff in Gainesville, but a lot of it's very much up in the air. So the plan is we're gonna live in an orphanage, in the refugee camp, for five days out of the week, and then two days out of the week, we're gonna be living in the neighboring town. So we get on the plane, we go to Africa. I'm like stoked to be in this camp, but also a bit nervous. I don't know why. I think we have the team that can tell these stories well, but I'm afraid a little bit that we're gonna get there and we're gonna be around a group of people who aren't eager to share their story. And so I'm pumped to see something I've never seen before. Uh, but that's also at the same time kind of a fear because I, I'm a high feeler, high compassion person and I want to make sure that as I like am experiencing this, I'm not letting the reality of what's happening there get in the way of uh, like being able to help. And I don't want people to think that we're just like all the other Westerners. I know someone said to Caleb that no Westerner has stayed there for more than one to two days. So I'm excited to prove that wrong and just kind of get rid of the Westerner stereotype. But I'm most nervous that the refugees that we come in contact with and the stories that we try to get, that they'll just put on a show. I don't know. I just want it to be authentic. Why? What are you going to do on the flight? sleep on the next flight and watch movies. Turn up! I don't know, where's my passport? There's always this phase of transition and uncomfortableness when you get to a new country where you're trying to figure out your grounds, figure out the people around you, figure out kind of just where you are mentally, emotionally, and physically. So I'm excited to get situated, get comfortable, get to know the people, and feel like I'm at home. Hey, did everybody take your utensils in that last flight? Yeah. There's our boss condoning. Yeah, condoning fit. <laughs> 
Tiara, what are you excited for? Um, my next shower. Project one? Yeah. I'm excited to start meeting people. It's really exciting going back to Africa. Did you like Africa? I loved Africa. Man, the culture, the people, the wildlife, the out in the middle of nowhere, there's something beautiful about getting stripped of all your comforts. I'm excited to like be a part of a project that merges so many of my interests, right? Talking about like world affairs, talking about hope in the midst of a tragic situation. And it looks like for this tripper, like for the least the first little bit, we won't have our cameras out. So documenting that will be interesting. I don't know how it's gonna work. So maybe I'll figure it out, maybe I don't. I think I'm nervous. I'm praying that her stuff all makes it there. I don't know why, but I have a weird feeling about it. That's not here yet. Thanks for all mine. <laughs> the drama. <laughs> Where's your bag? My bag is in Kenya. No, wait, wait. Your bag's not here? My bag is not here. Was it on the bus? Yeah, so here's the story. I put it in the hostel front this morning, and Tiara was a witness. Her bag was beside mine. And then, like a dum-dum, I didn't personally put my bag on the bus like they tell you to do. I just trusted the people. They're good people. And it's a great day, a great bus ride and got here and all our bags are stacked up and I was like, where's my bag? And I was like, what do you mean, where's your bag? And it's not here. So through some phone calls and some tears and the Lord, my bag is in Kenya. <laughs> so my bag has now traveled to more countries than I have. You and me are in this together and having no clue what this is gonna look like. But I'm gonna try to share as much as I can with y'all. So follow along. This is probably gonna be a crazy journey. And to be honest, I have no idea what's gonna happen. But I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure you guys subscribe. I don't know when these episodes are gonna come out. Peace, and remember, please, be excellent to each other. Thank you. Hopefully this audio works better than the last audio. Ugh.